Hi everyone, and welcome to my channel. I'm so excited to be back with a new video today. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a digital planner for Christmas. I know that Christmas is just around the corner, so I wanted to create a planner that would help you stay organized and on track during the busy holiday season. I know that a lot of you loved my previous digital planner, so I wanted to make sure to create another one that you would all love. I've added a lot of new features and customization options to this planner, so I'm sure you're going to love it. And as a special treat, I'm going to be giving away a freebie to everyone who watches the full video. So make sure to watch the full video to get your freebie. Now, without further ado, let's get started on making our digital planners. Open Canva to make a Christmas planner. Then click on Custom Size. I will design my planner in 16 by 11.5 inches. It will be a horizontal layout, and I will divide it into two A4 page size. The Canva editing panel is now open. Now I can start designing planner. First, I'll give my planner a name. Moving forward, I'll include a color palette that I've already created and uploaded. Let me show you. This is my color palette, which I will use to make a Christmas planner. Then I'll make a border for the page. I'll use a rectangle to make a border. Then I'll put this rectangle in the corner and adjust it. Now I'll add elements inside the rectangles to make them look greater. I'll look for Christmas elements. This pattern looks exciting, so I'll incorporate it. I'll cover rectangles with this design. After that, I'll divide this page into two A4 halves by adding a binder spine and rings. So, let us upload it. I'll add these two ring styles. Let's also add the spine. Visit the Creative Fabrica website to get these binder and rings. Now check for the digital planner binder and rings. As you can see, it has many binder and rings. You may choose any of these. This one is only 50 cents, which is a fantastic price. In addition to this, there are many other ways you may use it to quickly and easily make beautiful designs. It's an excellent website for getting access to various design elements. If you look at its annual plan that costs only $29.99. This is an excellent price for such a treasure trove of design materials. If you want to get access to this website, check out my description box, I've included a link there. Let's divide the page now by adding a spine and rings. I'll duplicate this spine and paste it over the top to stretch it to the end of the page. As you can see, this section appears weird, so I'll have to fix it. To do this, I will go to Edit Photo and then select Magic Erase. I'll simply select the part which I want to merge and it'll be fixed. It's done excellently. Now I'll add rings to the spine. It has been completed. Here, this pattern is put outside the rectangles, which will cause me problems when I design my planner further. Also, I am unable to crop this pattern. So, to resolve this issue, I'll save this page as a JPEG or PNG file and upload it to Canva. After that, I'll make this image the background. It's now perfect. Let us now add a navigation tab button to the top of the page. I'll use rectangles to make buttons. I'm going to look for rectangles with shadows. This is great, I will include it. Then I'll put the rectangle at the top to make the buttons. I'm going to make 11 tab buttons. After that, I'll colorize the buttons. I'll use the colors from my color palette. Completing that, I'll name all 11 buttons. I will use Deco font to name my planner tab buttons.
All 11 button tabs have been named. Now I'll design the first page of my planner, which will be a calendar. To design this page, I'll use rectangles. But, before we go any farther, let me add a heading here. For this text, I'll use the Poppins font. I'll use the Buffalo font for this text. Always use rulers and guides to keep your elements and text properly aligned. Here, I'll make four rectangle boxes for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. I'll create larger rectangles for inserting dates beneath these boxes. Let's give the week a name. Then I'll make alternative rectangles light in color to give it a unique and unusual look. The left portion of the page is finished. I will add more guide to make sure proper alignment. Now I'll work on the right side of this page. I'll extend these rectangle boxes because there will be three days on this side. The first page of my Christmas planner is finished. Let's make the second page, the weekly planner. To do so, I'll duplicate this page. First, I'm going to change the heading name. Then I'll remove these rectangles. I will extend this rectangle. This week will be called week 1. Below this box, I'll add 7 large boxes for each of the 7 days of the week. After that, I'll adjust the color of these boxes to match the color of my buttons. Let me finish designing this page and show you the final outcome. I completed the left side of the page. Now I'll work on designing the right side of the planner page. I want to give the choice to write to do things for the week, thus I'm developing a page layout on this side. I'll add a lines below this box to provide a space for the answers. Finally, I'll change this heading. Since there are four weeks in a month, I'll create three more copies of this page. The second page of the planner has been completed. Let us now create the next page, which is the daily planner. I always name the pages in my planner, so please do the same. First, I'll change the heading on this page. After that, I will begin creating the page layout. Here, I'm going to create two rectangle boxes. I'm going to name my first box day one. In the second box, I will name today's to-do list. I'll add lines underneath these rectangle areas to write answers. I will use this design style to create the next 30 days layout.
You must duplicate this page and change the day's number till you reach the 31st day. On the last page of the daily planner I've also included options for adding goals for the new year, which gives this planner an edge. The design of the daily planner page is also finished. After that, we have a budget planner, so let us design that. To do so, I'll duplicate this page. First, I'm going to change the heading name. In this budget tracker, I give an option at the beginning to specify the total Christmas budget and actual spend. Now I'll design the budget tracking table below. Let me completely design the table and show you the end result. So, this is the budget tracker table. You have the option of writing the item's name. You may see this in the table. You can create a budget for an item, then enter the actual amount spent on the item, and then compare the two. This page left side has been completed. Let us design the right side. On the right side, I'll design two little tables at the top. So there you have it, the two tables. These tables can be used to create budgets for a particular category. I'll put the identical budget tracker table below these tables. My budget tracking page is also finished. The next page is the gift list page. Duplicate the page, then name it. After that, I'll change the page title. Now I'll create a table on which to write the gift list. To do so, I'll copy and paste this table here. Then I'll make changes to this table. Let us also include an icon here. This table is finished. On this page, I will create multiple copies of this table. The left portion of the page is finished. Let us now design the right side of the page. First, I'll delete these two tables. Now I'll move this table to the top. I'll extend this table all the way to the end of the page. After that, I'll make changes to the table. To do so, I'll create extra rows for more categories. After finishing the table, it should look like this. In this table, you can write the gift name and then the gift idea. After that, you can specify whether you want to buy the present online or offline. Finally, you can set up a budget for your gift and calculate the difference between the budget and what you actually spent. This table is excellent for keeping track of gift budgets and ideas. On the next page, we will create a cleaning planner. Make a copy of the page. After that, I'll begin designing the page layout. To do so, I'll go back to the previous page and copy these tables. And paste it here. Then, change the page heading. I'll also adjust the color of the boxes to match the color of my buttons. Now I'll name all of the boxes. I'll call the first box Zone 1 Kitchen. The second box will be called Zone 2. Lounge. The third will be Zone 3, Bedrooms. 
following that zone 4, bathroom. Then there's zone 5, which is hallways. Finally, zone 6 is for washrooms. Now I'll name each zone's activities. Let's start with the zone 1 kitchen. After placing work activity, I will add a square in front of each task so that I can easily mark them when I finish cleaning these things. Similarly, you can create activities for each of the six zones. Allow me to finish writing this and show you the end result. So, this is the end outcome of this page. I wrote all of the activities in each zone, and on the right side, I placed a line under each zone to give the option of writing notes for each zone. The next tab is Decor Checklist. I'll duplicate this page. This page will be designed in the same manner as the previous page cleaning planner. First, change the heading. After that, I'll delete this rectangle and expand this one. Now I'll make a decor checklist for each location. Guys, I won't be showing you how I wrote each point, instead, I'll show you the final result. As you can see, I have written all of the checklist points for each location, which I can easily use when decorating my house. In our Christmas planner, we will make a page for party invitations next. I'll simply repeat this as my initial step. Then I'll remove all of the page design elements. I'll give this page a name. Then I'll change the page heading. Now I'll make a table for this party invitations planner. To do so, I shall return to the previous page. I'll copy this table. and paste it here. After that, I'll make changes to this table. First, I'll remove the excess rows. Then I'll name the table heading. I'll name the first box for writing the guest's name. I'll type RSVP here. And below that, yes or no for a response. Finally, I'm going to change the table's color and copy the same table on the right side. The invitation planner is also finished. Let us create the next page of our planner, which will be about party food. Make a copy of this page. Then, as the first step, I will repeat the procedure of changing the name of the heading. Remove all of the page elements. Afterwards I'll go back to the previous page and copy this design layout from here. And paste it here to this page. Then I'll remove this rectangle and expand this one. I'll also extend the lines. Now I'll color the boxes and write the name of the food. So, let me finish this up and show you the outcome. This is the final design layout for the party food page. I have first candy, and I can construct a candy list here. Then there are drinks. I can make a list of drinks right here. After that is the prize. I'd also like to provide some prizes throughout the party food. Then I'll have some appetizers and snacks. Finally, if there is anything more I want to add, I can do it here. The party food planner is also complete. After that are pages with activity ideas, games, shopping lists, and to-do lists. Guys, let me show you the pages that I have already created. This is my game planner page, where I can write a list of games that I want to play on Christmas. Below that, I have space to write down the materials needed to play the game. I have an activity planner on the right side. This too has the same design layout and options. I have a place where I may record my activity. Then, at the bottom, I can write about the materials needed to do activities. Moving forward, we have a shopping list page. On the page left side, I created a layout in which I can write my shopping list for food and drinks. 
On the right side, you can create a shopping list for decorative products and gifts. Additionally, I have a place for notes. If I want to make some notes on shopping, I can do so as well. I have made a duplicate of the shopping list so that I can write about more items. Finally, we have to do list page. This page is just for writing tasks to perform throughout the holidays. I may also post notes here. To obtain this planner for free, follow to these requirements. First, you must be a subscriber to our channel. Non-subscribers will not be eligible for the freebie. Second, be a part of our Facebook group. Third, write Merry Christmas in the comment box. Fourth, you should watch this video with a duration of 50%. Fifth, fill out the form in the description box. Do not fill out the form with a random email address. We will not accept any random email addresses. Once you have completed the following instructions, I will send you a digital planner to your email address within 12 hours. The design of all tab pages has been completed. Now I'll create the cover page and table of contents for this Christmas planner. First, I'll create a heading to set up a table of contents. I'll copy this and paste it there, and then change the page heading. Now I'll add the element to the page and search for the brush strokes. Let's go with this one. It's not looking good, so I'll go with another option. Now I'll make 11 copies of these because my planner has 11 button taps. Then I'll adjust the color of each stroke to fit the color of my planner's theme. After that, I'll name each tab button over brush stroke. The naming has been completed. Now I'm going to add some Christmas elements to this page to make it more appealing. So I'll look for Christmas elements. This looks good, so I'll add this snowman. I will also add this Christmas tree. I'll add a couple more elements. Let us include this. Then I'll take Christmas hat and place it on the table of contents, T. Finally, I'll place a banner here to fill the empty space. This page is also finished. Now I'll design the cover page for my planner. To begin creating the cover page, I will first change the color of the page background. I'll go with this color. Then I'll start adding elements to the page. Let's put this pattern on the page. Now I'll use the rectangle to make a cover page. I'll decrease this rectangle's opacity. Then I will add another rectangle on top of that. I'm going to make it white. I'll also increase the opacity to 100%. Then I'll add rings to the page corners. I don't like the color of the background, so I'll change it. This color looks great. Then I'll add another rectangle and place it here. I'm going to create a copy of this rectangle and outline it. Now I'll write the text for my cover page. I'm going to use the Sense of Wild font for this. This font isn't looking nice, therefore I'm going to replace it with Chunk 5. 
Then I'll modify the font color and add other effects to make it more appealing. Let's add some more text. I'm going to use the Brittany font for this text. I'll add last text here. I'll use Sensa Wild font for this. I'll also draw a dotted outline rectangle behind these words. My cover page basic structure is finished. Now I'll add design elements to this page to make it more visually appealing. So let me add the elements and show you final design. As you can see, I finished the planner's cover page. I added Santa, stars, banners to make it more appealing and to emphasize the Christmas theme. My digital Christmas planner is finished. I've also included design elements on each page. Let me now demonstrate how to add a hyperlink to your digital planner. To add a hyperlink, click on the tab button and then on link. After that, select the page to which you want a link. Similarly, you can include hyperlink in all of the tab buttons. Let's see how the final results turn out. Every tab works flawlessly. I hope you enjoyed the video tutorial on how to make a holiday digital planner for Christmas. If you like this video, please share it and leave a comment.